Hi, welcome. This video is here to answer a few questions. What's our clinics? What's uh, the, the target, target audience of our clinics? How many projects are there? What ISOs do I choose? What's all the, the possibilities? What are the choices? The best thing you can do is go to the website Arclinx information and have a look at the page Choose Your Project. Arclinx wants to educate people into Linux, Arch Linux and then Arclinx, right? We have phases in our learning path and one of the ideas is if you are really new, so the target audience is somebody coming from Windows, most likely, right? Then you choose the Arch Linux ISO. You boot up into XFC, you'll probably recognize all the settings and all that, and it will be easy to run or to, to go into, to flow into a Linux world. Then maybe later on, on the same computer system, so you install three desktops in one, meaning you can just switch, log out, log in, and you have a different kind of desktop management. Would be something like a Windows 8 and a Windows XP, right? A desktop environment and if you are really comfortable into all these uh, desktops maybe you can have a tr try and see if a tiling winner manages something for you and all that is documented on YouTube on the websites all that has articles lots of uh, knowledge about tweaking theming and configs and so on so that's phase one choose Arclinx ISO so that's for the beginners the Arclinx ISO but I'm using that one as well. So it's also our flagship, it's our development ISO. Everything we need is there. GIMP is there, Inkscape is there, and so on. In phase two, you might consider to go to phase two and say, I'm gonna install Arclinx D. This is rather, well, more difficult because you need to go into, maybe need to go more into a terminal, a TTY system. But at this point in time, Arclinx D changed. So, this would be beginner, intermediate, and certainly professional guys. So the guys that are expert Linux users, they'll probably use this one. Because Arclinx D provides you the most freedom, most choices. And this phase two is then the XFC Openbox i3. So the one you've learned here in, X in phase one. In phase three, you'll go to all the other desktops. So you see all the other desktops here. Click it and you see all the articles we have created for you, all the knowledge that, that's online. In phase four, we respond to the question, I don't like what's on the ISO. Well, we say build your own ISO. And here it is, build your own ISO on Arch Linux. You learn how to build it yourself, but you can also download it because not everybody is so keen on building. So download or build. And in phase five, we just phase five, sorry, we just say let's go and forget Arch Linux. Let's install, install the Arch Linux ISO from archlinux.org and do our thing with it. And in phase six, we just um, say let's together create an Arch Linux based system from scratch, A to Z. So that's what's behind the idea of Arch Linux. It's like going to the university. I'm a teacher myself, so I'm teaching all the time how to do this, how to do that. So Arch Linux core info is the next thing I would go to. And then I would go, well, join us please on all the various social media. But here it says that we have three major additions. So the Arch Linux ISO has XFCE Openbox i3. Arch Linux D, well, eh, beginner, intermediate expert, and I would say this one beginner as well and intermediate B if you just download it burn it on USB it's just like any other distro burn install play but Arcmix D can be more expert if you like it but can be intermediate as well so um, the differences between these guys is best explained by showing you and I'm just uh, I'm going to do that right all right I've booted up Arch Linux. This is our flagship. The flagship contains a lot of software, the software we like to develop. This is our system, the system for the Arch Linux developers. Now, many people say this is just awesome. We need, 
we have everything that we need. Everything is available. I don't need to install anything anymore. So that's cool. So you keep using Arch Linux ISO. But remember, there's Arch Linux D and the B. So if I wanted to, I'm not going to go there, but if I wanted to, you just log out and log in as Openbox, as i3. There are three desktops to play around in. This is a learning thing, right? Play with three different kind of desktops and the tiling window manager certainly is for many of us daunting a challenge but why not use well the challenge and use our knowledge to um, use a tiling window manager at some point in time you say okay looks good okay i want to have this on my machine virtual box or ssd and then you run calamaris and it's during this phase that you have so much choice Calamara's installer will change, versions will change, and all that. The images, the, the, the windows, the content will change, but it's always similar, right? You decide on this moment, in this particular time, you decide if you've got the internet, of course, if internet is available on your machine, you can decide to install the different kernels, uh, NVIDIA drivers, and so, so, so much software. So that's why we say on Arch Linux now, you can make from this flagship a cruise ship. If you want to install more, you can do so. You can't install less. You'll get this always. This is what you get minimal. And that's what we require minimal. Actually, I don't require any, not that much anymore from the list here. But hey, it's a choice. And that's the thing. Another thing we would like to provide freedom of choice. Install whatever you want. And Arclinx D is, is the summum of freedom. And B as well if you build it yourself. So development things. The site, just a click and it's installed. Multimedia. A little bit down there. Okay. Internet. All kind of stuff. You can install. There are videos of course explaining what it all is. How to install, how to play with all these things. Even games, I've made some videos about games. I'm not really a gamer. And lots of stuff, you can install more. It's a choice. You don't need to do it, you can do it. That's the thing, we provide you with the freedom of choice. And this is from us. Well, for us, from us, you can use it as well, of course. So, and when we are testing out our ISOs, we install that one. And then, after you go and then you install all the rest. Now we're going to take a look at Arch Linux D. So we've booted up Arch Linux D. You download it, you burn it, you boot it up. You'll see that this is very minimal. There is no menu or anything. This is a pass through mechanism. We are looking at something that's quite minimal. That's actually XFCE, right? But you don't need to be here. You don't need to see here. There's nothing to see here. Arclinx D is here to create the most minimal, the most bare, even Arch Linux slash Arch Linux system. Again, we start our Calamaris. Again, you get a lot of choices. And in this case, very uh, a lot of choices, more choices than in Arch Linux ISO. These guys you'll recognize, choose your kernel drivers and so on. But here we don't even have Bluetooth. Arch Linux ISO has everything covered. It boots up, it's just play, right? Everything works, sound, samba, uh, Bluetooth, laptop support, it's, it's all there. So if you wanna build up from scratch, from a most bare minimal ISO that's possible, with Arch Linux D, this is more for the intermediate and the expert guys, because if you are able to install Arch Linux, then you're able to do this. So you either the two choices, you say, I'm going to skip all that, which is great, right? Skip, 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 next, all good. And you end up in a black screen. And then you make uh, use of our own scripts from github.com slash ArcLinksD. All the, the scripts are there. And of course, change them. You want, you want Firefox, but you don't want Vivaldi. You want Brave, maybe. As browser and so on so you change the scripts and you run the scripts and you've got your own system tweaked out package by package by package right 
So that's possible. But you can also use calamaris, and of course the internet still needs to be available there. If all that is available, then you can just click here, whatever you like to install, and have immediately have Lightyam already available when you have um, when you boot up. Choose your desktop is awesome, right? You can choose desktops straight from here, and actually it's not difficult if you come. If you look at the Arch Wiki, the only thing to have a desktop like GNOME is these two packages, sudo pacman s GNOME. Maybe you like to install also GNOME Extra. There it is. So it's so simple to install sometimes a desktop. That's all it requires. And it's so simple. You can do just this and forget about out, uh, sorry, forget about all the configuration of Arch Linux and go your own way. So it's so versatile, it's so flexible. And that's why I think, I hope, people will love Arc Linux D. All right, so you choose whatever is in here. And like I did this, you could do this, right? You could install several desktops and um, be happy with it. It's your choice. Then you communicate, communication with people, select whatever you like. Development, sure, one of them, two of them maybe, an office appliance a suit <laughs> suite is better suit is something else multimedia right install whatever you want internet software everything is just one click away and afterwards it's installed or you make your own scripts and install it with the scripts but at least you get an overview of the very well the most important uh, applications linux has to offer linux i did say linux not arch linux All right, con keys, file managers, lots of terminals we've added because, well, people are people. They prefer their particular terminal. Next, and this is for our development. We need this to develop, but you can use it as well. And that's the Arch Linux D, right? So you boot up in a black screen. You need to say three lines, type three lines, and then you boot up in a graphical environment of your choice. As simple as that. So you can watch the videos how to install Arclinx D for that. What about Arclinx B? It's important to understand why Arclinx B exists at all. It's that important that it has its own website. Arclinx B is there, the B stands for build your own ISO. We can never build an ISO with the applications you like for 100%. It's not possible. Everybody has his own opinion of what an ISO should look like, what theme it should have, what cursor it should have, what wallpaper it should have, right? Let alone all the packages you can choose. So the idea is, guys, build it yourself. Go and choose your desktop. We'll show Arclinks B Plasma later on. So choose your own desktop, follow the procedures, change whatever you like, add stuff, delete stuff, build the script, well, use the build script, and just type in number 30, number 40, boom. And you have, as a result, your own personal ISO. Burn it, use it, and it's gonna be 100% the way you like it. Now, that clicks B, not everybody is ready to just start um, working with these scripts and all that. But it's explained, right? Follow the tutorial, it's not that difficult. Let's say building is for intermediate people and the experts. But even so, Arclinux B, when you download it, it's gonna be for the beginners as well. What do you do? You click on download, you burn with Etcher, for instance, on USB, you boot up, you get this. This is what you get, right? And then you click Run Calamars. I think that's not technical yet, right? And then it's um, either choose or not choose. It does not, you don't have to click anything here. What you get is this. Arclinx B starts off with a minimal approach. Our minimal approach, which means we have Firefox. To give one example, right? So that's our choice to have Firefox on the ISO when we install it and we don't install anything anymore then it's gonna be just this. 
Now you can have more. With this Araclix B minimal, they're all minimal by the way, and there is one more I should mention. Mention We have 15 desktops, but there's one extra ISO, which is Araclix B extended. And extended is a project you can follow the how we created it in here in the tutorials we have a special project that is going to show you can install openbox with six tiling manage, tiling window managers on one iso no problem right so you have seven desktops on one iso it's all possible you can make other creations follow the tutorial and you say i'm gonna make mate with cinnamon why not follow the tutorials you can do that that's what is what it means to build build your own ISO but if that's still uh, a bridge too far as I say then you just click your way maybe and select a so few things not maybe everything but a few that you say I would like to have Skype later on and so on and so on let's go through them these images will change over time will add more stuff or maybe delete some stuff uh, but basically, you'll get this, a similar kind of approach, similar kind of uh, windows in the future. So you'll make your own decisions here. Everything will be installed as extra. We don't remove anything in Calamaris, we add things, right? What you see is what you get. This is what you get. If it's cinnamon, that's what you get, and so on, and so on. 15 desktops plus a special one. And there you have it, that's um, a short overview what um, to expect for these three projects. So then it's time to choose. Well, we navigate back, we go to download and there are different possibilities, Seathost or SourceForge. But this, at this point in time it's interesting to have a look at uh, Seathost because there is one week in the month where we put out our betas. So we say they are betas, but officially they're not actually, but this is the official release. And there is one level up, an AAG folder. And this is the version of April and it is now the 5th of April, right? So you need to know what to, uh, to, to install. Are you going to install the Arclix ISO or all the way down the Arclix D ISO? or anything in between. Here are all the Arclix B ISOs. So here is a good overview what to choose. All right, have fun.